it's going to pop up. That was our order, man. Scary clown. Do you want to see his horrible face? That's so in it. Tonight, we want to play a game. <laughs> Little things are more fun, are they? <laughs> Surprise Alex. Surprise Alex when he emerges from his shed in one hour. Your time starts now. Let's see how Paul's mind works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like there's something. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's horrible. Blood on the thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's horrendous. Brown clown. Brown clown. That's what you're called. <laughs> well, thank you for that, brown clown. <laughs> Very scary. Very good. Very good. That's Paul debuting his new children's character. <laughs> Brown clown. <laughs> <laughs> Given that Alex had sort of set the task and we put a clown in a box. <laughs> like a human one, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> sure, I knew that was you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to get a brown clown in that small box, so I thought if I did the real thing, we well, were pretty surprised, didn't it? I mean, I, I was quite surprised. So I'd been in there for an hour. This is what I do. I go in there, I do my secretarial duties. I knitted, yeah. that occasion, I knitted you some little booties. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a couple of them. They're nice. Yeah. Thank you. And I came out and I saw the box, and I was surprised to see the box, but I did think there's probably a clown in the box. Yeah. <laughs> If it was a surpriso meter, how high would it have gone? It's a massive if. Um... <laughs> Big if, isn't it? Yeah. About, eh? about that about high. About that high. I want to know how long you were in the box hiding as the brown clown for. About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to move on to Sarah? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I want to stay here all the time. <laughs> oh, I love you, Paul. <laughs> So we're going to the break. I just want to say a quick thank you to Paul for being extraordinary. In fact, to express this gratitude, we've set Paul his own special task. <laughs> See you after the break. Have the most fun on this bouncy castle. You have one hour. <laughs> one hour? <laughs> Your time starts now. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Make the best snowman. You're one hour. <laughs> Your time starts now. Well, it's not going to snow in an hour, is it? <laughs> it's 11 o'clock sunny. It's 10 o'clock now. No snow today. Tomorrow, no snow. There's no snow this week. You didn't think it was going to snow, you were just messing around, weren't you? No, I thought, because it, it snowed in April this year, didn't it? Oh, yeah, I up, when Prince died and he wrote that song, it snowed in April, then he died a week later, so... Yeah, you shouldn't use that to forecast weather, that... <laughs> <laughs> There's never, ever been purple rain. <laughs> Can you buy me a slush puppy? What flavour? It's no flavour. Apple. Got your uh, bag of ice, two slush puppies and a white teddy. Excellent. Good luck. Finally. <laughs> That's a snowman bear, isn't it? <laughs> How's that? You see with the expression and the tears reflects what I'm going through on the inside. Crying, isn't it? <laughs> right at the end, just 
the final image of a snowman was in place. He said, the bastard's crying in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the bastard. <laughs> It's dark, mate, isn't it? No, it's dark. I'm, I'm starting to think we shouldn't be laughing at Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many questions I want to ask you, Paul. Uh, my first question is, is everything all right? <laughs> Snow bear, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a bear. It's a, it's a rabbit. rabbit it's with a some rabbit. On it. <laughs> it's not. That's not a bear. It's a rabbit. It was it was powerful, wasn't it? In the room, we were we were moved. It, in oh, the... and it's incredible! Look at it. <laughs> I like it. He used ice. Yeah. I was about to say, and it's something I've written down now. And thanks for backing Paul up. He has used something cold in his snowman, which is one of the traditional elements of a snowman. It's built yeah. of a cold substance. There you go. So, in that regard, well done. <laughs> uh, terrible timing, but we have to stop now for a break. Back soon. Thanks so much for that, Paul. Spread your clothes as far and wide as possible at your own expense. Farthest and widest winds. You have 30 minutes, your time starts now. Let's see how Paul got on. Ready? <laughs> As far and as wide as possible. Just please. So we'll start with one sock. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put the other one in the other corner. Now the other one's over there. If we can get that plane to take off, I can get it even further. as possible, that was. You know that if you throw a sock over a fence, it's still just the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see where it landed. What, the sock? Yeah, I chucked it over the fence. Unless you did some sort of martial arts throw. And it, like, <laughs> well, I mean, it's just the other side of the fence. Yeah, but when you twist your hand, <laughs> it gives it a spin. <laughs> and it kind of... <laughs> it's probably still travelling now. <laughs> What did you think were the chances of that plane flying with your <laughs> sock wrap round? Right? Pretty high. high. I wouldn't have tried it. So you think? <laughs> I thought no. I, I thought if you put the sock on it, I put it in the place where it could have still flown. So when you see all those nerds at weekends at flying club putting their models and getting them absolutely perfect, the last thing they always do is stick a sock on it. <laughs> This is of Evil Dead. Cash would buy. Cash. Buy a gift for the taskmaster. You have 20 weeks. <laughs> Your time starts now. Paul Chowdhury. Well, you're a man that likes women. I've known you for a long time. You've had a lot of women what in you your mean, life. Don't say it in that creepy voice. <laughs> <point. laughs> yeah, I like women. I like men. It's all good. No, but mainly women, isn't it? <laughs> He's got in the box at this stage. I mean, a severed hand. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a man that likes women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> You're right, Paul, I do like women. <laughs> oh, it's not creepy. It's a game of Twister. <laughs> that is lovely. Make a twister, man. I know, I know what you're implying, and so does everyone else. <laughs> It's cool, that, isn't it? Right. <laughs> uh, do something that looks brilliant when sped up or slowed down. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Do you want to see Paul Chowdhury? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> Thoughtful, really clever. I'm the best at keeping uppies, isn't it? I can keep it up for a long time. <laughs> you did boast a lot about your football skills before. It was the ninth take, but it, you know. It... <laughs> the point is, you did a genuinely good film, and I honestly thought uh, it was going to be horse. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> Come off it. Fill this egg cup with your own sweat. Most sweat wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Uh, maybe do some press-ups or something, innit? <laughs> Should have bought a belt. Not a drop. Al Murray's gonna win this, that fat b Tickling me. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot. That's your time. Well, why is it that colour? <laughs> I'm going to ask you a straight question here, mate. You blacking up? <laughs> <laughs> why was it that colour? Like, I creamed myself before. You what creamed the... yourself? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I creamed myself, like, earlier on that day. Yeah, you, you say that like it's standard practice. <laughs> You moisturise your own body, innit? Before you when you moisturise your... your body. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you the same question. Why is it that colour, mate? <laughs> oh, because the t-shirt oh. was a dark oh, colour, and it rubbed onto the sweat and the cream, and the cream, uh. and created some kind of a sweat fungus.